hello guys and welcome to round number one of the Gavra Racing F1 Championship on F1 2019 for the game and tonight we are here in Australia for round one as qualifying is just getting underway with the camera view very broken so we're going to look through some of the people that are going to be competing tonight and see who's where. Alright, so we got Ryan, we got Gav, we got, Gav, we got not 20 turtles I'm going to call them now, Infame, Sarbo the Meister. Big Boy, Triple OH, Black Country Mush, Supercar, Bowie, I've got the Bowie on the cover. Alex Gunner, Matt, Boss, Rob, Bob Carver, Willie, Tanker, and Jay Bird. Currently doing pirouettes on the Albert Park Garden. <laughs> so we're gonna ride on board with the Gala as he starts his first flying lap running the lovely red and blue the red and black design as he runs deep with that one and that is gonna ruin him for the rest of his lap. So we're gonna, so we're gonna see uh, the 22 as he starts his first line up. Perfect entry and exit off oh, turn one down, and the DRS down in towards turn two. Breaking hard about 50 meter forward, getting down into second gear. He's got a bit of traffic ahead of him, we've got Infame and. Now we've got Willie. And then. Oh, he's got off the grass, onto the grass there, through the. Right hand, I know that is super cart, so try and stay away from them as that was very close to all three of them. So we're gonna come down into the lovely corner. What personally one of my favourite corners of this track. As he has to deal with the green and black car of Sarbo and that ruined him and super cart is left. Now come down through sector three now, and there's the yellow flag in all three sectors, and picking back up the power and around the going to the penultimate corner now, dropping it in, getting the power out, and he's dropping to the pit lane. So that is a lot of Twenty-two. So uh, Willie looking to have some problems with Jaybird on the track. Jaybird having a problem so far as Rob now coming up to the line. Rob's going to go and set a one thirty-five. So not a very quick lap from him so far. And uh, we've got Gav on the hard. So he's looking to. Uh, I think this might just be a banker lap, not a full lap. Some people in the pit lane, we've got Jaybird with no front wings in the blue and orange car. Of is off the track again. Jay Bird has missed the pits and I don't know what he's doing. So I would be a caution towards everyone on the track if you're all watching. Be careful of Jay Bird, he's driving with no front wing on the car at the moment. So we've got Ryan sitting in the green and grey looking car, which actually looks quite nice. So he's about to start his flying lap 
now. So he's going to come down towards the line and start his first flying lap. Dropping it into turn one. Is he going to make the apex? He's made the apex. Good little entry there from him. And he's got the DRS wide open now going down towards turn two. Breaking about, just, just, well, just about the 100 meter board going down towards the 50 meter board. And uh, that's uh, about the right location. Open now in sector three. And we're coming down into the double right hander here. Open it in. Can't get too much curve on the exit and get onto the grass. But 22 ahead of him. So now we're going into the final of the long corner. Down into second gear, getting the power down. Full gear, full flat, and the gear is open. He's coming down towards the line. He's going to be a close one between him and he's got. He's only just qualified in P5 so far. But Infame is just coming out of the pit lane now. And it's going back. He is running a nice orange and black design to his car. Running number 41 in the, se in this, uh, in the series. And a supercar sitting in pit lane. So if he's rejoined. Tri Triple OH is running the same design which. Nice. I don't know the names of the uh, teams yet. Oh, 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 oh. So I've got nine minutes and fifty seconds remaining of Brax qualifying, and Jaybird is coming into the pit lane after running out of fuel. So. Twenty-two's on the, the fastest lap, so good lap from twenty-two there. And then we got Willie sitting in second, running the all-black design, which is black, unusual for this. And uh, we got a car sitting backwards, who would be? Hmm, I don't know. That would be Mew. You missed the number six who's been disqualified. Uh, sixth place, which would be Baldi. So, we've got a yellow flag in sector two and sector three. Oh, remember uh, a, bo a boss livery was very nice for this race, and it's the most standout design of the uh, cars that I've seen on track so far, and. Russell's just getting out of the way of everyone else as he starts his first flying, uh, his next flying lap on the soft tyre. So he's going to go in towards turn one, trying to avoid the two cars that are battling ahead of him for track position, sparking as he went in towards turn one. Power down, DRS open, he's going to get a slick stream off of the car in front, who is, I don't know, number 13, number 13, that would be Infame. So, Infame has been pushed off the track slightly there, I think, or is that someone else? Nope, that is Infame still is behind him. But Boss now coming in towards 
sector two. He's up on his time by 0 0.01 of a second. Point, no, point 0.1 of a second as he goes into the right hander as he goes into the long sweepy left left what sweepy left hander going in towards the S bend now straightening up dropping it in down the gear try not to get the back end out which he hasn't and he's got the DRS open going down towards the double right hander dropping it down to fourth gear getting the power on now for the next right hand up and straightening up towards the left hand the penultimate corner he's gone deep he's gone down to first gear that's ruined his lap slightly and he's into the pit lane so we've got in fame coming back into the pit lane back to rhyme and half alex gunner mac is on a lap and he's coming around the final corner now up on his time, up on some time, he's 23, 25, and 4. 24, 2, so that's a very good lap from Alex there. He's going to be sitting, currently sitting P4 in the qualifications. As we've got Supercar missing, and also Jaber with two so we're coming up for five minutes remaining as Met Boy is coming up the pit lane now with his is that a galaxy car designed helmet? I think that is. Um, that's looks very nice. Uh, that's just very purple. So. People are going to be uh, showing off what they've got in the store. As uh, I've seen a few of these guys race before from other series, uh, of the season, last year's season, which has been Star by the Meister, Gav, In Fame, and that is it for the people that are actually in this race. But there is also the Tuesday Group A and Group B series. So. Willie is good, is uh, happy with that uh, time, so he's gonna retire from the session and sit out till, for, till the race. And that is gonna be a penalty for Jay Bird, who doesn't care and he just put it in the wall. Jay Bird because he's going to lose. He's going to try and cause some problems in the race as he still is in the wall. He's sitting, he's sitting in the middle of the track. Turn one, okay, caution. Jaybird's gone straight on and Boss is going to chuck it in and he's gone off circuit he's going to stay on track and finish his lap 
which is not looking too bad as he comes to the line he's going to improve to a 124.9 which he had a bit of problem with with the uh, problem with Jaybird and also making up the penultimate corner and Go Gola has gone the fastest in a, the qualifying session so there's only a minute and 45 seconds remaining and there are some that's a very quick lap that's a whole second faster than 22 oh now 22 is coming back at him 0.7 second faster than his lap so in fame has gone in and proved but 22 is coming across the line he's going to go and sit second place on a 122 888 now in fame is going to have to do something or is he retiring from that run he's retiring from that run i think so Sarbo de Meister is out on is on his outlap now. Can he do anything to uh, show up, Willie, and put him down onto row number three? So Jaybird, Supercar, and uh, Baldi are all setting very slow lap times, but that meaning Supercar's not set a lap. He Oh yeah, I think. Jaybird has just crashed off and Baldi has crashed out as well. So Sabo is sitting in neutral. Ooh. He's now going to put the power down and he goes for it now. DRS wide open. 20 seconds remaining. He's going to start his final lap now. As he's got a car behind him which should be Alex Gunner, Matt behind him we have both oh Alex is on his second lap Sarbo is on his first lap so now going through the left hand he's not running it too high and he's got a good exit there oh he's a bit on the grass and he's kept the car straight through the corners now coming into the right hand up and going into sector two so now pick it back up the pace in towards the right, the sharp right hander. Drop it down to about third gear, maybe second. Yep, third gear. Powered down, very close to the barrier there as he's trying to take as much of the track as possible. Now fling it left into the S bend. He's down to fourth gear. That's a very low drop. Now DRS wide open. He's now going into the. He's in sector three. So this is coming up to the end of his lap. He's staying on track quite well and for the next right hander. He is now reining into the left hander for the final time. Around the final corner, he's gonna be sitting very quick. He could take pole here if he keeps it straight. No, he won't take pole. He's taken third place. He's put Willie and Gunner onto row three. Yeah, sitting down with eight, not too bad on the medium tyre. I want to find out fastest tyre. Willie really, on the hard tyre. Uh, so this is going to be the end of qualifying. So the qualifying result is Gogola taking pole with a 122.547 and then 22 with a 122888. Starbuster Meister with 123115. Infame with 1235. As we get the board up now. Uh, we have Willie with a 124125. Alex with a 1242. Triple with a 1244. Gavel with a 1245. Boss with a 1249. Black Country Marsh with a 1253. Met Boy with a 125.396, Ryan with a 125.5, Robert with a 130, J Bird with a 220, Supercar with a no time, and Baldi with a disqualification from qualifying. And uh, J Bird, I should be checking rating is a level 6. So we're now going to go into the race. It should be hopefully dry. So 
We're just going to wait for everyone to load in. Slowly everyone loads in. So, well, so that happens. I'm going to quickly just grab my drink from behind me. And take a sip. So we're now going on to the formation lap. So go go Zala, go go Gola is going to send us away. Then it's going to be 22 with Sabo sitting behind, and we're going to have to see a bit more uh, into the cars. So we're going to see go Gala is number two. So then we go down to 22. Who is running number? Is running number 13. Sabo is running 14. Ian Fang running 13, 99 for Willie. Alex Gunner Mac is running 41. You've got Triple running 22. Number 6 or number 5 for Gav. Number 6 for Gav. Boss is running 50. Black Country Mush is sitting on the grid. As well as Met Boy sitting on the grid. And we got Ryan, he is sitting as number. Doesn't say. <laughs> number. Number two. And then we got number 66, 31. Baldi sitting on the grid. <sighs> Jay Bird is sitting, doing, is doing donuts again. He is number 53, I think he is. It's the 93, I think, and... Figure 4 HD Gaming is sitting in the last. Ooh, number 31. Who's number 31? That would be Supercar. So, Blue, uh, J Bird is number 93. And then we got. So, we're going to have them all lined up onto the grid now. And. We've got. Rogola starting from the preferred line in towards turn 1. And, uh, So uh, we've got 17 cars sitting on the green waiting for the five red lights to load up now. We're just waiting for Supercar to line up on the grid and that is it. So we've got right on board with Sarbo for the start. We've got two, three, four, five red lights. The reds are building up and it's go, go, go from the grid for the Monday night. Gavra Racing F1 Championship as they go four wide in towards turn one. And there's contact there, and that is in fame. And there's a big crash further back. There is Jay Bird. Somehow he's up to 10th. Now we got Gav down in 13th, in fame in 14th, and Boss down in 17th. Jay Bird is off, and who is that off in the gravel? That's Pick. Alex is on the back. He's trying to close in on the back of Sabo. But Met Boy is also trying to close in. He's going to go for the dive bomb. It didn't work. His, tart, his brakes are locked up quite hot. And Super Bird has been up trying to overtake Jay Bird, and Jay Bird's put him off the track. And that has cost Super Bird, Supercar a couple of positions here. Now, Jay Bird is on the pressure from Ryan, and Ryan's just got fast and quite easily there. Now, Robert Cod, father, is now trying to get past Jay Bird, and he's got past him quite easily. And that's going to be close for Gaff to get past him. And Gaff has just given him a bit of room there. And it's easy. 22 is right on the, he's closing onto the back of Gogola now. In towards turn one we go. Uh, this is a 50 percent race as well, right? So you are. You know. 
and uh, in the time Willie is closing on the back of Alex now and there's been a crash in sector 3 or oh, someone uh, so the car goes off in turn 1 Got Gav trying to get past Supercart now in towards the end of sector one. In the chat. So Gav is trying to get past Supercar and this should be quite easy for Gav, but I think he's got a bit of damage to his front wing yes he has on that end plate on the left side from the damage at the start as Willie has lost it and triple has overtaken so Gav is now trying to look for a position somewhere as Jay Bird has crashed out again and I think he took out Robert with him as Ryan has gone off as well and gave Black Country much a position Gav is sitting right on the tail of Supercar still. He's just trying to pick out a good position and he's done it now. So Gav is now into 10th place and that's going to get him a point in the championship at the moment. So he's got down into 11th. In fame, sitting in 12th, which is quite um, sad to see because he was qualified, he qualified P4, if I am correct. And he's down in 12th. That's a very drop back. Yeah, it was four. He's down in eight positions. And Boss qualified up in ninth. He's now down into 15th. Yeah, and I would totally agree with that comment there. Jay Bird is very dangerous at the moment. Uh, what I've seen. As uh, Sarbo is clutching up to the back of 22 and Gogola now. Oh, Gogola's gone. So Sarbo is looking to get past him and go for second place in the race. Three laps in and Met Boys. Met us. Willie is down two position. And Gav is coming now. So Gav's going to try and get past Willie into. Double right hander of sector three. And we've got more problems coming back as Jay Bird is ooh, he's actually stayed on track so far. Now we've got Robert sitting behind him trying to get past him as well. Um I do I do not uh, no, if he attended the evaluation race. But Gav has got past Willie and Jay Bird is off again. So Bowley is a lap down. He's been lapped up by fifth place already. Sabo is trying to close in and he's not going to get in here. But he's now going to have the DRS in the next bit. Start off sector three. And he's gonna close in. Willie is off again. Willie is not having the good a good race. He's got 34 seconds to the next car. Sarvo is now going into the final corner with the soft tight super, uh, super soft. DRS wide open, is he going to close in? He's closing. Not closing enough. And then the yellow flag is at the one. And Supercar and Black Country Mush are now battling away for position of ninth. Gavra's back up to eighth place now, so that's three points in the championship for Gav at the moment. But this is a play position battle for two points in the championship at the moment and it's a back country mush is looking to the inside line is he going to make it they're going to be side by side and black country mush has made it now we're going for a switch back is supercar got it no, black country mush is going to have the drs from the protection point of the lap before 
And Ryan is now trying to put pressure onto Metboy in sector two. Four position. In sixth place. Sixth place. And he backs off there. Doesn't want to go side by side into that corner. But it's not working out there. As I'm trying to get the better camera. There we go. There's a better camera. And he's now going to sit behind him going into the S bend here. Always there's a cut off the front nose. DRS is going to be opened for Ryan. He's going to go down to the inside line. He's going to take the position from Metboy. And Metboy's going to go down to seventh. So Ryan's got seven seconds to close to catch up to Triple OH. Supercar has got Infame. Oh no, Infame has put it into the gravel. So Infame is under the pressure from. Problems from earlier. I now want to close back up. And since uh, 22 got past, Zarbo uh, got, got past 22, he's closing on to Gongola. Jay Bird is number, is Jay Bird uh, 01. He is currently down in 16th position in the race and he's got I think he's got one of the leaders ahead of him which he has that would have been Ryan backing him he's now got his teammate catching him who was 43 seconds down just over two laps ago and he's now taken it Jay Bird is off the track Oh, as 22 is nearly got taken out by someone, which I think might have been, that would be Robert. And it's, Jaybird's been given a three second penalty for cutting corners. But what I was saying was, 22 was closing in on to Sarbo, the Meister. Backcountry back, we've been given a three second penalty as well. Pika has been has crashed out and it's a, it's not a finch. And uh, working together with Sabo and 22, they are clutching up to Gogola now. Who should just be around this corner when he straightens up and now Jay Bird is battling. Battling, but Sabo is on a is on a run at the moment, trying to collect in again. But Triple OH is closing in on Alex Gunner Mac, who is his teammate in the delivery. So teammates running fifth and fourth and fifth at the moment, and I think Alex is going to be pitting soon, as he's got the symbol for pit. And in the, the two laps that I've been spectating the lock top three, it's gone from six seconds down to two seconds between Sabo and Gongola now. Gongola now. As Infame is coming out the pit lane now. Sabo is on his easy closing up. As Triple has gone past Alex as Alex is pitted. So Alex is going in. Oh, what's he doing? Alex, is he going on to the soft side, uh, the soft side or the medium? He's going to the. Um, he's got a stop go penalty. He's serving a stop go penalty, and he's now going, he's getting the medium tyres on, and he's underway now. Supercar has got past Alex. Jaybird is off the track again. Robert Cobfather is down in his seat. But Jaybird is gone off at the final corner and giving Jay, uh, Robert a another position. But Gogol is now under the pressure from Sabo Meister. Meister into the final, final two corners. And we are 
as it gets the power down, is Gogola going to be able to hold it down and defend at this point? And I don't think he will. So I was going to have the DRS. He's not even in mode 5 or mode 4 for overtake. But Gogola mucks up and gives Sabo the lead. So Sabo is now trying to defend from Gogola. And 22 is in the pit lane. Ryan is just ahead, but Ryan's got that be Jaybird's teammate Bowley ahead of him, causing a bit of problems. Black Country Marsh and Triple I'm just switch positions again. Ryan struts up. Started down in 12th position. He's up to third with uh, 22 kicking. He's not running too far behind. And, uh, well As I say that, I give him the commentator's curse and he locks up into the right hander and goes off. And we have a yellow flag is off. off. But Gab is now up to fourth. And this is where we're going to see a little battle start again. Oh, as that is off. I think that's Baldi. Baldi is in the wall and he's taken out one of the polystyrene barriers saying it's DRS zone. And his teammate's done the same thing. So, oh, as well as Robert Codfather. So the bottom three have crashed out already. Oh, Gola is in the pit lane. Is he going to make it out as... We need to get Robert Podfather out of the way. And 22 is made a position. Gogola is now going to have to battle Ryan Strozza and Gavra now for position. But Sabo has got a 24 second gap over 22, so he's going to keep that. For the position, and that is a uh, that is true. It is wacky races with the uh, bottom three. Uh, we got <laughs> Rob off again. So who else has gone off the track? Alex Gunner has been overtaken by Supercar. So is Alex going to be able to battle against him for position? As that is a very big old drift from uh, Supercar. Supercar going over the escape the. the uh, the pipe and it turned into a skateboard. So, right. And that is Jaybird again. Yeah, that's Jaybird. And it's gonna try to do as much as possible to close in onto Supercart now. And he's got the run on the exit of the start right hander. Going through the triple left hander now. Going into the S-Bend, he's going to be on the inside line, is he going to keep it? He's going to go side by side through the S-Bend and he's going to keep the position. He's going to have no DRS. Neither of them are going to have DRS. My name is Ryan. Uh, Ryan. My PSN is Ryan Ruby 9653 Alex Gunner has made a position as the boy hits in for the hard tire. Is it the hard tire? Is it the hard tire? Supercar. Boss is got. It's Jaybird sitting up behind him now. As that is weaving at its finest. And no, that's not. That is Baldi. Baldi has put himself off at turn one. Battling with a car ahead of him on track. So we have got Sabo in the pit lane now. Is Sabo Sabo's coming out of the pit lane? Going down the pit lane. Is he gonna be able to make it ahead of 22? Oh, this is gonna be close with between these two. 
it is going to be it is going to be 22 taking the lead of the race now so we've got 22 then we've got Saab by the Meister and Gongola who Gongola has had some problems with getting past the people he's down into third he's dropped down from the lead of the race and we've got Ryan Strother sitting in fourth Gavrin in fifth Black Country Mush in 6th and Triple RH in 7th but this could be a switching position at the end of this lap, end of this straight or the next straight and Triple RH is going to look to the inside line in towards turn 1 and he's going to get it yes he is and Triple RH is going to have DRS down the next straight now so he's going to pull away a big gap now we've got Alex Gunner and Supercar is pitting now we've got Boss in 10th temp temp Boss is now going up to ninth place and Supercar is going to drop down to 10th. But we've got Robert and Jay Bird battling for position and they're taking each other's spots there. In the words of Monty Cox, one of the guys earlier, that was the Mikey Race moment as we go side by side with Jay Bird and Willie's going to have to push him to defend the position and he's put it in, in the wall. And uh, there should be a black flag as teammates nearly take each other out. We're going to have to cut back in for another pit stop with a new for a new front wing. Baldi is in the pit lane getting a new front wing for his car and he's on to the medium tyres. There's Robert and Robert off track again. Gav has made a position on Ryan as Ryan's got a... Has he got a tyre? What I don't like about this new up, this new one, is they don't have the mechanics in the race cut race suits. We don't know which which ones they're pit boxes. So that is a pit stop for Ryan. As Black Country Moon is in the pit lane as well. Triple is now up to fifth. Gavrit is into fourth. So Gavrit's doing quite well for the first round of the season. The best I've seen him in the F1 Championships. Sabo is now on the back of 22, so this is going to down for another battle as Sabo is given a three second penalty. There's a three way battle and that is a front wing going flying through the sky as 22 hits. That is a home run for, for me. As 22 is now dying down the outside of Willy and Willy is now on the inside of Sabo. A good idea as there is wings and body parts running everywhere. So Sabo is now going to have the DRS, but he's got a back mark ahead of him. That is that is Jay Bird. Jay Bird is going to take him off the track. Now that is a atrocious move there, and he's put him in the wall. So there's going to be some penalties going down there with Jay Bird as he did not give up the position or room for the leading cars so I'll have to forward that towards the uh, admin of Gavra and all of that as Alex Gunner and Triple OH are switching position as Triple's got no front wing I think we might have to do the evaluation race again for Baldi, Jay Bird and Robert as they are two and three laps down as Supercar has crashed, has crashed out the session. Triple OH is in the pit lane and Infame has got a pass from Willy now. And that has really ruined Sabo's race that has that crash. And this is now 10 seconds down on Gogola and also 13 seconds down on 22. As Gav, he's now got past, Gav's now got past him as he spins out. Oh. This is why I missed about commentating. <laughs> that was good to be back. So Sabo's having real bad problems with the locking up there. As I think that was actually no like Bird no like Jay Bird is only just coming behind him now into the into the pit lane, is he gonna come into the pit lane? 
Yes, he is going to come into the pit lane. Not like qualifying. As that is Robert off the track again. So Sabo is down to. Oh, this is going to be sixth place. It's going to be sixth place. He's down to sixth. Is he going to be seventh? It's not going to be seventh. So Sabo's down to sixth place. So that's dropped him quite down in the points. I think that's down to 12 points. 25, 18, 15. 10 points. That's down to 10 points now. Sabo's on. So he was running at looking at 15 points in the championship first round. As Gavra's got 17 seconds to Gregola. And there is 21 seconds between Gav and Ryan. So there's going to be some. Uh, And you can see how far they are behind uh, this, in this race, but Jaybird, Robert have still not unlapped, uh, still not passed the supercar who retired two laps ago. So, Gogola's now going to try and close in onto the back of 22, who is sitting in the lead, and we're just past the halfway mark in this race. problems in this race point of the Jaybirds only had two pits up apparently but Baldi and Roberts have had three Gavra has been on these tyres for 15 laps so Gav's been on these tyres since the start Gavra's not pitted yet Gav's got a pit he'll go down to five Oh, who was that? That is. Oh, that is got to be. Is that Baldi? No, that is Jaybird. Jaybird is causing problems again. He's now going to sit in the middle of the track. Going to cause problems between. We go. Oh, no, that is a very big problem. He's. He's just taken out 22. We were battling side by side. And I. I think we will have a very big penalty coming up for Jay Bird or even a disqualification of the championship. It's called, I think, of a, a, a rough guess. Yes, about four or five crashes. As Robert is sitting very peculiar. As Jay Bird has retired from the session, and I think that will be a disqualification from the championship. I, I I hope they bring out a uh, a mode that I can bring out. A, I hope they bring out a mode where they can yeah, can take me out a safety car because that would have helped out so well with me just bringing out a safety car. Yeah, I uh, I totally agree with you guys there. He does need to be kicked from the league, and that is atrocious moving. And uh, you got a blue flag. You got to move out of the way. You got to move off the racing line. And it was like he got it was one car. Oh, there's another car. Oh no, I'm gonna turn straight into him. So it'll be big penalty or any sort of disqualification for the lead. So now three drivers now and uh, we got Robert Codfather who's two laps down on Baldi who's a, over a minute behind in fame. But Sabo and Meister is closing in back up onto the uh, the group. But Gav still still running on these medium tyres since the start. But 22 sitting in the pit lane and only just leaving the pit lane now. And Sabo is just run, had a bit of a mess running with the gravel. Ryan and 22 have just overtaken. Sabo has just come around the final corner now. So 22 has got a bit of a gap to Sabo. So Alex Gunner 
He's also closing in on the back of Sabo and Meister. So this is going to be a battle starting soon between these two. As Alex Gunn has gone straight on and locked up in towards the gravel where flashback a few years back where Fernando Alonso and Grosjean have that massive crash and uh, Fernando Alonso ended up upside down in the barrier. As Met Boy and Black Country are very close as well as Triple. Triple is kind of close down the Inside line, outside line, in towards the next corner. He's going to go for the outside line, but he's not going to be able to make the overtake there. So, got Met Boy under pressure from Triple O H. But Gav is in the pit lane, so is that, where is he going to jump out of the pit lane? I think just after Sarbo, I would say. Oh, he's going for a new front, front wing, so yeah, more like him. Sabo, oh as that is, Baldi sitting on the inside line of the track, Gav is coming out of the pit lane, Sabo is coming down the pit lane straight now, so Gav is now ke is kept position over Sabo, Sabo has got to close in two and a half seconds to get up to Gav. We also got Infame closing in on Willy. Uh, 22 is under pressure and putting under pressure or uh, putting pressure on Ryan and he's tapped his rear end and they've both gone locking up in towards the corner and 22 is made in position. Uh, that would be a uh, very cautionary kind of uh, penalty. I think that might be. Slight warning there. And now Ryan is going to have the DRS. He's going to close in. So this could be another battle that's going to be brewing for the next few laps if Ryan doesn't make any mistakes, nor does uh, 22. And it's the bright green and grey car of Ryan and the black and red car of 22. I'm going to duel it out for the next few laps, hopefully. As he's now, well, he's now going to have the RS, he's going to close in onto the back of 22 into the... Now that's a battle further back, who is that? That has got to be Willy and Infame. But, this is more important, Ryan is not closing in, not enough, I don't think. Nope, as he locks up slightly there, and uh, I think that is the end of that battle. Until 22, as a mistake. Gav's yeah, been given a three second penalty. So there's now a little bit of room between the cars. I'm going to quickly go into the penalties for you guys. So we've got the incidents, we've got a lot of warnings. Jesus. Okay. Alright, we go with penalties. We've got one penalty for Gogola. Probably about three seconds. Then we got one for 22. Ryan's got one penalty. Gavra has got oh, two penalties. Sabo's got one penalty. Alex has got three a three second penalty. Boss has got a five second, which he probably took, and a five a uh, five second penalty. He's then got for two three penalties for Black Country. Met has got only a warning. Triple has got a penalty. Infame has got one, two penalties. Willy has got zero penalties. Baldi has got one penalty. Robert had two penalties. Jaybird, one, two, three, four penalties. And that was only 13 laps. Supercar had one penalty. And Pika had zero penalties. So now we we'll go back to the racing where we've got Sabo in the pit lane for a new front wing so he must have had another crash but that is not good for Sabo as he's been lapped uh, yeah. he can't have been lapped, no he hasn't been lapped has he? no he hasn't, he must have been. I'm really confused now 
Yeah, so Gagolo lapped everyone except for Alex upwards. Oh, his Met Boys put it straight in the gravel. Enjoy it. The only people that get that gravel pit was from last time. Now that they're over the hook, she is back onto the track. He makes, didn't make sure that he's on there. And on there. As Ryan is. Four seconds away from. He's 22, but he's got a six second gap over Gavra. That's the insane moves out of the way. Now that is how you meant to let a car pass. Still sitting quite far down. Currently going on, on the side by trying to close in onto the bank of triple. We're going to sour down to the inside and also the outside. Making the overtake on triple, but triple's now out of the DRS to try and get back past him. battles with only five laps remaining the guy has pulled a massive gap he's now 40 seconds ahead of 22 but we've got to go back to the pit stop that they've had 22 has had an, an extra pit stop Sabo has had two pit stops and then uh, we've got Gogola as Ryan's gone off at the final corner but Gav is now trying to close in so Gav could get on the podium if Ryan's not careful now as we go down the home straight and Gav is two and a half seconds away from Ryan. My phone. Uh, didn't see the close one there just to make sure has Gav got any penalties he's got all three penalties and Ryan's got one penalty so Gav's got to pull at least a six second more or more gap over Ryan if he wants to get past him and get on the podium Yeah, 
Sorry. As Boss is now putting pressure onto Met Boy for position. B in eighth place, and he's gonna look inside, mother to the outside. Has Ryan made any mistakes? No, Ryan's not made any mistakes. As that boss is gonna look very close to the inside line, he's gonna go to the inside line through the left hander. They did, and he's taken himself out by trying to go for that move that wasn't there. So that has been it for boss in that battle. But Gav is only two seconds away now, so Gav is closing in sector one. Now sector two, we're still closing. Three laps to go for the leader. And it's one and a half seconds, and it's closing, it's closing. Oh, and Boss has been overtaken by Black Country Mush as well. Half a second it is. Between Gav and Ryan Strud. As Infame and Boss have made a mistake. As Infame, I think Boss is giving up with that. And Gav is now going to have to DRS on Ryan. Is he going to go for another attempt of overtaking into the right hander? No, he's not going to do it there. Put the power down, he's gonna go for a bit more of a closer battle. Yes, he is here. He's another best uh, first corner is now a second gap. It was down to point five before. As Ryan got the power, he's got a little bit more wobble there from the back end. And the tires are getting loose, and that's Black Country Smash getting back on the track. So now we've got to be careful Gavra here as he tries to make, part, make it past that country merge he locks up into the corner so that is not going to help Gav out at all that country merge should just uh, move over in a second and just let Gav back past but he wants to be involved in this battle Gav has not given any DRS there which that like country merge was Go and we are counting down for that remaining as Black Country Mush is let Gav pass. Gav's now going to have DRS as well. So that actually has helped out Gav uh, out quite a bit there. One and a half seconds, he's got to close now. Back to what it was before, two laps to go. Is he going to be able to close it here? Oh, is Ryan makes it a little bit more of a problem there as he moves the back end and gets another penalty. So that is a little bit closer for Gav to get past Ryan, and Ryan is losing the back end there. Gav is sitting right up his tail now. For position three in the race, with two laps to go. Gav's going to look to the inside line, is he going to do it? No, he won't. He's going to hold it off until probably the next corner, where he can get down the inside. Is he going to go to overtake mode? He's not going to go to overtake mode, so he's going to sit back for a little bit longer, hoping that Ryan does a little bit of a mess up that he just sort of done there. And they're now going to go side by side into the S bend. Is he going to go for a position here? No, he won't. He's going to stay back. He's now going to have the RS on Ryan. Is he going to go for the position here? He's got it open. He's going to look to the outside line. But if Gavra can stay behind, which he's doing. <coughs> Gav's going to have DRS going down the home straight which he can use to his advantage uh, oh as Gav is right up his tail now the closest we've seen these two now DRS wide open for Gav Ryan's now just a sitting object he's going to just sit on uh, overtake mode oh that was very close and nearly taking him out Boss has retired from the race and Gav was so close on overtaking him as now just dropped back he just couldn't get past him well it is also dnf on the race so we're down to no 10 drivers remaining oh is that is a big crash 
That is what caused Willie and Triple to be out of this race. The gap has given another three second penalty. As he's got. Oh, who's that sitting up his backside? That will be. Not going to go like that. Will be... I don't know. That's in favour. In favour behind him now. So we're down to 10 drivers remaining. That's not good for some people. Some, for a side. For some side of it. As uh, we're on to the. Well, the leaders into the final lap. And uh, this battle with Gavra and Ryan looks like it's hit at an end. We'll just double check to see if Ryan's been given an extra penalty. So Ryan's still on two penalties. Gav is on, I think, four now. One, two, three, four. Four penalties. So Ryan will have to get two penalties on this final lap for them to to have a ch or three uh, three penalties on this final lap to give Gav the win uh, off the third place of the race. I don't see it happening, and that's a big crash. That is a Boss flying in the air, that is, oh I don't know if that's Gavra's fault or not, but Gav is trying to close in on to Ryan now, so we're down to 9 drivers remaining, and uh, this race has just gone hey, AWOL at this point, Gav is chucking in very hard into that corner, it's not looking like it's going to be a ch place to uh, get third place in the race and it probably isn't but go go like has won the race and now we want to wait for 22 22 has done well for having an extra pit stop and uh, this is going to be him yeah, coming around the final corner now so around the final corner comes 22 22 he was going to give a little bit of a weave down the line and he's going to cross the line for second place then it's going to be Ryan Strozzer he's going to take the third place on the podium taking it for the uh, the Ryans taking third place for us he's going to weave down the straight he's, ex he's excited with the result he's going to take that then it's going to be Gav in full unfortunately for him he couldn't get up any higher then Alex Gunnar but then we also have had Sabo the Meister finish, Metboy finish, Infame finish, and waiting for Black Country Mush, who's just finished now. Alex Gunner's coming round the final corner now to finish his race <coughs> in fifth place. So he's going to weave it very, very slowly, take it up all the time possible to finish in fifth place. So. That has been round number one of the Australian Grand Prix here, guys. And as we go see them onto the podium, as we've got Gogola taking the part, uh, taking the win in the uh, Arden kind of Arden, no, it's the old ART, the last year's ART colours with. Uh, Gavra's teammate sitting in second and then we got Ryan in third. So we're now going to go back onto the podium. They're all going to stand on the top step and they're going to take their photo and they go to the press conference. And, uh, driver of the day. Ooh, I'm going to have to give it to... I'm going to give it to Ryan. He started down in 12th position and finished in third. And that shows the sheer excitement of his uh, weaving at the end. So uh, Ryan will get the driver of the day. And I don't even know who got the fastest lap. But I don't know if it did that. <coughs> but. We uh, have got a bit of a mayor of a race here. And uh, hopefully it will be cleared up. <laughs> cleared up for next week. As uh, we'll be coming back for more racing. From I think it's Bahrain next week. Let me just double check that. Should be Bahrain next week. It is no, it's China next week. So we'll have <coughs> choose. Uh, we'll have China next round. Okay. Um, final round is week before Christmas. 
but thank you guys so much for watching and uh, for all the comments towards me and the race in general and uh, it's nice to see that I have uh, done well in the commentary tonight so I hope you guys uh, come back for tomorrow's race which will be the Tuesday group A and B which I don't know if it's going to be streamed or not if it is maybe I'll be doing that I don't know um, but I will be back on Monday with the round two from China so I hope you guys come back and uh, support some of your friends uh, leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel um, if you want to go to my personal channel it is Ryan Racing and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll, I'll see you next time